Hey Xbox gamers, are you struggling with a NAT type error on your Xbox Series X or Series S? This common network issue can hinder your online gaming, causing problems with matchmaking, chatting with friends, and more. But don't worry, I've got you covered with an easy guide to fix that NAT type and get you back to gaming without any hiccups. Let's get started. NAT stands for Network Address Translation, and it's crucial for managing your console's online connectivity. If your NAT type is unavailable, it could be due to a variety of network issues. But fear not, we're going to walk through some simple steps to resolve this. First, let's do a basic check. Navigate to Settings on your Xbox dashboard, then select General, followed by Network Settings. Here you can see your current NAT type. If it says Unavailable, it's time to roll up our sleeves. A quick and easy first step is to restart your console and router. Turn off your Xbox and unplug your router for a minute or two, then plug the router back in and turn your Xbox back on. This can often refresh your network and clear up the NAT issue. If that doesn't work, we'll need to check your router settings. You might need to open certain ports for Xbox Live to work properly. According to Xbox support, the ports you should focus on are TCP 374 and UDP 88 500. 374, 3544, and 4500. To do this, you'll need to log into your router's configuration page from a PC or smartphone. Every router is different, but look for a section called Port Forwarding, or Virtual Server. Here, you can enter the necessary port numbers and save your changes. Another potential fix is to enable UPnP, or Universal Plug and Play, on your router. This feature can help automatically open the ports your Xbox needs. Again, you'll find this option in your router's settings, usually under a Network or Advanced tab. If you're still having trouble, consider setting up a DMZ for your Xbox. A DMZ, or Demilitarized Zone, will place your console outside of your router's firewall, which can solve NAT-related issues. Be cautious with this one, though, as it can expose your console to security risks. And there you have it. One of these methods should resolve your NAT type issue on your Xbox Series X or S. I hope this guide was helpful. If it was, please leave a like and subscribe for more Xbox troubleshooting tips. Got questions or other fixes that worked for you? Drop a comment down below. Until next time, keep gaming without limits.